the massive growth that we had on our one hour challenge, it's time to look into the issues that we created around the city. And the first thing that we have to do here, as you can see, is traffic. Like the game is playing. You can see they're moving very slowly, but it's all traffic that we have here. So this is the new area that we, we built. And as you can see now, traffic is at 37%. That's like bad, really bad. So our aim here is to get above 80%. So while we start and start looking at the train here, there are two things uh, that we need to fix on the trains. First is that the cargo trains are using passing, the passenger uh, lights. So the, the rail, they, they are sharing and this is not good. And the second one, we have to fix the connections here to the external of the, the the city and there is also a few trains that are stuck in uh, the, the stations as this one here so we have to fix that i'll probably remove a few of the trains that we have there are some that are just um crashing and they are not working properly so that's what i'm doing there also i did record uh everything on a live stream but at the very last minute of the recording, the game crashed and I lost that save game. So you see there are quite a few changes between the live stream and this episode. I try to keep the, the basics the same. Uh, I, I wanted to keep uh, some things the same so because they make a lot of sense. And But a few would be different because I can't remember every single road change that I did. So when we start here on our traffic, I know that there's a lot of people going from one side of the uh, train line to the other, and they are all using the main highway. And when you get people uh, wanting to cross from a suburb to the other, it's not usually a good idea to force them to go through highways because then you funnel the traffic in the highway and that's not good for anyone. So the idea here is that uh, I'll have two at, the, uh, at this point, connections to both sides and I'll do another one on our next episode. So, but for today, I'm making sure that this is happening and that we set all the priority lanes uh, I'm also setting um, the dedicated turning lanes on the main road here. And as you can see, a traffic is using that road a lot now. So this was the first thing here. The second one is that this road, specific road here, is very busy because it's there is just one way out and uh, it goes straight into a roundabout. So I removed a few of the industry from there and the exit from the cargo train, I'm not connecting straight into that major road because that was causing a lot of issues. So what I'm doing here, I'm going underneath and I'm making sure that we have a way out uh, for all the, the trucks from this area. And this will help us a lot. And another thing that I noticed is that we have a lot of people they were trying to get into the train station from coming from the roundabout and turning right. And I'm trying to create a bypass for that. It doesn't seem that they want to use that a lot, but that's, that's me trying to get something better for that. And I think when we grow this uh, area to the down of, downside of the screen, uh, That'll be to the downside, no, to the bottom side. <laughs> That'll be uh, worthwhile. But yeah, as you can see, I've removed the right turning in there. I don't think that's where they should go. I also redid the roundabout there to make sure that we have everything set up. And I'm making sure that the trains can go underneath that road and not through the road. And that will help. There are a lot of small fixes uh, along the way, like changing where we have this uh, warehouse, this 
was creating a lot of traffic as well. Remember that when you have warehouse or any building that has a lot of uh, traffic, so for example, police stations, hospitals, warehouse, things like that, try to get them not on the major road. Because if you get them on the major road, they will block traffic when they have to get in or out the, the, uh, the building. And that's not what we want there. So now to the second connection, and you see that I'm doing some uh, saves along here as well. And that's mainly because as you can see, I start seeing uh, some uh, error messages in there. And I was a little bit concerned because that what, that's what happened when the game crashed on the live stream. So, uh, and the save auto save is turned off because it's still not working. I, I don't understand why, but it is what it is. And we'll deal with that. Probably is uh, some of the mods or something. Maybe on the, on the next series, we will remove almost all the mods and keep just with the, the basic ones that we, we always use. But let's see, this is for something down the line. Uh, now I'm starting to build that second um, connection to the other side there. I've noticed that we have some burnt buildings and that's mainly due to the traffic that we have in this area and uh, fire, state, fire uh, trucks can get into, into there. So I put down a couple more just to make sure that they have easy access to the area and with traffic getting better with these new connections uh, we uh, everything will work fine and as you can see i uh, start to do that transition again to the road layout in this area so now you have curves in here whether on the other side you just have like straight lines and i'm trying to make this future proof making sure that we have asymmetrical roads getting into the, the main road there and that is one thing that I want to change uh, from this whole build that I, I think became a nightmare. I think we on the main roads we have way too many uh, connections and they are very close to each other like these two here. We might need to change that and probably on the next episode I'll go through that and change these things and but yeah uh, here removing stuff from the roundabouts that we created, like this roundabouts are no place for for zoning, so removing that, and you see me adding a lot of these asymmetrical roads in there. So I'll leave you for a bit while we progress with the build, and I will come back very shortly. actually using these new connections so that's why I decided to work a little bit on the pathways in there and now we are getting into the trickiest parts of the the whole build for some reason when I did it live it went much easier and <laughs> you can watch the, the live stream but now the second time I did that it was a Bit of a nightmare to get this uh, working. I think we got there in the end without having to redo much. I just believe I had to add a couple roundabouts in there and redirect traffic. But this is one instance where we have way too many uh, connections in the in that uh, the main roads, and this is not really 
uh, advisable and especially this close to roundabouts and a major roundabout uh, as it is and we have like this four-way interchange here four-way interchange there and that nah, it's it's not good so I will change that you'll see that I'll also add a bypass at the back and it's not just a bypass but we can grow the city to that side but I will change a few things here on the next episode I was when I finished I was just thinking about why this was so hard to fix here and it's all these very very close connections even if you just have like T junctions in, in the middle here there are way too many connections and they are very very close and this area is densely populated so we have mostly uh, high density residential and commercial in here and having these many connections to the, the main road is actually tricky we will also have another connection across uh, near the oil industry in there but this I'll be doing on our next episode as well because this one was way too long for uh, just this this fix here but I think I'm happy with the result uh, we now are using some traffic lights uh, time traffic lights which is unusual for me to use but I think it made sense and it did help with traffic flow in there and you'll see very soon uh, where we are at with the the traffic in the city but yeah I, what my, my idea here to fix the traffic and let me walk you through my thought process is mainly see where the traffic is coming from and where they are going to so and we reach 30,000 population without doing any in the zone <laughs> so uh, with that in mind looking at where they are coming and where they're going we uh, I'll look into ways to connect them in a smarter way so one of the ways that I did that was with the straight connection with that bridge across the uh, train line and uh, as you, you saw the the in-game tool there they are using that a lot now and this alleviate traffic on the highways and we now have three ways in and out of this area to the other side of the city and that's great now we still have uh, a few issues here which is these main connections so my next step there is to find where are the main roads uh, even if they are these smaller local roads but as you can see they will be funneling into some roads to get into the, the major roads that we have and when we find that we have to make sure that they have almost a clear path and by that uh, I mean making sure that we have properly set up um, giveaway signs and priority roads and dedicated turning lanes and adding asymmetrical roads uh, getting into those major uh, connections so they can pick left and right and we can split traffic and we don't have one lane being used uh, for two different things and as we do it, it sometimes you don't see the effect straight away but you see that the traffic will slowly improve all across other areas as well and this is just a knock-on effect on uh, improving these main areas that is still uh, some work to do yes definitely this is not perfect and I'm not claiming to be the best traffic fixer in the world but I think at least we uh, will achieve our goal here with uh, just remember we started with 37% you saw me building it you you're seeing me fixing it so that there is no cuts no, nothing it, it's just going in straight into uh, the build and you're seeing exactly what I did so if you want to you can slow this down and see in detail what are the changes that I'm doing but this is uh, basically just going to the flow 
and seeing where are the main points where we have uh, where we are slowing traffic and finding ways to improve that like this roundabout everyone was stopping on that junction with the roundabout we have a nice steady flow and we just have to make sure that the remainder of this uh, road is actually flowing well and as you see now traffic is basically solved in that area and that's that's how you do it it's uh kind of simple when you get to understand uh, what's going on and you just look at your traffic and you have the tools that will help with that and one of these the tools is actually the node controller so making sure that you have smoother turns into uh, main roads like this uh, this just increase the speed of your cars getting in or out of those roads and I have to fix that road in there that is just looking weird now but you look into these tools and you use it thoroughly across the across the board in your city and you start seeing the traffic moving a lot faster in those corners and that's what you need you, you want people to get in and out as fast as possible from all these uh, these roads and these connections and this is what we want so yeah this area here you have too many connections so we fixed that at the end but i'm still not happy with that so i'll make a few changes later on and i think what i have in mind will work a little bit better for us but yeah they don't have many options there they don't uh they have a lot of intersections to get through but I think at the end we, we got it. So just making sure that we direct the traffic and making sure that they go where we want they to go and that they have access to all the areas that they, they are trying to reach. So yeah, uh, while we do this, I'll shortly build a bypass at the back there, but I'll uh, leave you again and I'll be back. Now, don't get me wrong, although I'm really happy with the results uh, by the end of this episode, I think we can do better. And as I mentioned, I'll do some changes in the next episode. But there is still one very important thing that we are missing here. And that's really, really important for you to keep in mind. All these changes that we are doing we don't have a good uh, public transportation in this area and this is one of the reasons we have so many cars going around and this is one issue like we don't have mass public transport and this is something that we'll fix in the near future as well so we are doing all these traffic going from 37 percent and I think we reached 83 or 84% at the end of the episode without adding any public transportation. So I believe that when we do uh, these small fixes on these roads that I mentioned that I, I believe we, we should do and we add public transportation, then we won't have traffic issues in this area anymore. 
So I'm still think we have way too many cars going through here and this is not helping us. So I'll definitely work on that. Just keep, uh, just keep that in mind and we'll be back in the next episode or uh, as you can see traffic there 82% at the moment but we'll be back in the future to add public transportation in this area and make sure that uh, our citizens have a lot of options to get from one place to the other this is really really important and it's something that we've been purposely uh, overlooking in the past few episodes because I want to take this to the edge like I, I, I want to see how far can we push this in. look at that, that is like a lot of cars most of these red areas and especially the orange ones for sure they are just busy in roads as you can see like they, they're flowing uh, they're not stopping there for too long and it's just a matter of uh, really busy roads and uh, trying to access those main uh, arteries on, on, in the city. So we do have to create more options for them and we will do that, uh, but it's just not roads that fix traffic. We do need to add some public transportation. Uh, the only one that I believe we have, we have a bus loop in this area that's way too old now and don't go throughout all this new uh, zoning that we did and we have the train that connect both sides and that's all so we will get in there and again this uh, we have another train that was broken there and as soon as we move that you can see that they are all start to move again so yeah traffic is fixed for the uh, trains and for the the cars as well and i'm just fixing this because i don't know why the rocks all of a sudden just start floating away so yeah just taking a look at that and i'm really happy with that come last thing another um sewage system and another water tower and we are done so don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye